What's going on everybody? Just got to the lake, it's 3 p.m. on a Friday after work. I'm gonna change here in the car and get out there. It's late September, but it's still 97 degrees, so I don't know what the fish are doing, but we'll get out here and give it a shot. Hopefully I catch a few and I'll get back with you. Thank you for watching. is humming. Obviously it's always windy here for some reason. We'll do what I can. Throw some moving baits. Oh, don't take the kayak. Let's see if I get Big fish too. Oh my gosh, that's a really big thing. big fish right here 5.48 smoke the bull shad <laughs> it goes at least five let's see here oh yeah 5.48 5.48 look at that fish 5.48 smoke the bull shad super fat healthy fish too 5.48 smoke the bull shad let's get him out of here back down <laughs> awesome he hit it as soon as it hit the water I didn't even know that was a fish, the little guy. Oh, he came off. That sucks. Oh well. Broke the seat. Broke the seat, but I got a big fish. Really big fish. Oh, he's down in the grass one. Oh, he's a decent fish. Oh, that's a really nice fish. Come on, here's something next. Gotcha. Of course, my seat broke. I need a new seat for this thing. Oh, that's another nice one. Nice fish. Smoke the bull shad right along the grass line. All right, number two on the bull shad. Just burning it on this windy bank. Let's get released and toss him a little bit. All right, here we are. Oh, trying to stretch my back for a little bit. My seat broke. I don't want to have to pay for a whole new seat because of the straps, so I'm going to figure something out. See if I can find a way to jerry-rig it or replace it, but so far the wind is absolutely terrible. Like, the wind doesn't necessarily hurt the fishing, but when you're in a kayak trying to fish, it absolutely hurts you trying to like position yourself. And So I'm struggling, but I have two fish just trying to make casts when I can. Um, I was trying to fish a glide bait 
wind's pushing me around and all kinds of stuff so i went to the bull shed just so i could cast it and burn it back um even that is a little difficult because this you know it's wet white capping and there's waves out here so it's hard to try to keep it under but i'm just doing what i can um do the spinner bait a little bit but don't really have confidence in that right now so just trying to do whatever whatever i can to catch a few fish hopefully i can catch some more but i did catch a decent one out there like 5.48 and then another one probably a little over three ish i'd say so at least i caught a couple we're gonna keep fishing down this grass line and see what happens wish me luck He came off and he absolutely clobbered it. I got too much slack in the line. I hooked him too, so he ain't, he ain't gonna bite again. Roll at it. Do it again, do it again, do it again. I'll get the oh my gosh. Roll at it. Golly, dude. It's not the right bait. They're not really eating it like they should. Let's see if they'll see it. Waking under the grass, watch this. Go back up there and get in. Ooh, scared me. Perfect cat. 
There's fish blowing up everywhere. Got him. Oh, I didn't set the hook hard enough. I hooked him too. God, this is why I need to throw this on a heavier rod. Uh, I paused. Hey, if you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. Fishing has been tough. I uh, haven't been catching a lot of numbers, but I was fortunate enough today to catch that one that was over five pounds. So that's pretty exciting. And I'm just gonna keep grinding it out until you know fall hits and hopefully we get some cooler weather. But once again, thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed the video.